So. So hi guys. Hey, what's up? Today? How's it going? Where are we today? Where the hell are we? Are we recording? Yeah, man, we're on. Yeah. Dude, oh, we're always shit. recording, bro. I mean, there's all that ruckus just going on. Yeah, we're always recording. So not a chance. How long no. have we been recording? For a while. Since you sat down. This whole thing has been <laughs> recording. Yep. Well, that's pretty well, cool. well your life is but a we're recording. But we're somewhere. You're like oh, the truth. We're not at the studio. Like on the Truman Show. No. Sorry, bro. We're closed. Oh, shit. He yanking hard. Sorry. Oh. We're, 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 we're closed, homie. Seat's taken. <laughs> yeah. You better go to Sick <laughs> Pizza Works. Can't sit here. He yes. looks so fucking confused. Yeah. He was like, what the hell, man? There's people there's in there standing around and shit. But what? Why are all these cars here, but I can't get tacos? Yeah, sorry, bro. go off often. No tacos for you. Every day. We be the, can we be them for a minute? Can we be the soup Nazi over in this yes. corner right now? Right. Yes. Seinfeld. Yep, exactly. Be like, we no made it, guys. We did it. No tacos for you. We're at DA Taste here DA on Abbott Road. Bang. Boom. Doing the Spaced Out Podcast. Oh, is that where we're at? The Spaced Out Podcast. We cannot be recording right now. Absolutely. <laughs> are recording right now. cameras. Let me do it again. Hey, everybody. We're here at DA Taste on Abbott. What? Not a TV show, bro. All right. He's high. <laughs> All right, guys. I know you're walking past the cameras. <laughs> yeah, I would pan to the other one. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I was talking. Welcome. We are Spaced Out Podcast here at DA Taste. Oh. And this is Spaced Out Podcast. Smoking some weed. Smoking these wonderful yes. people. Definitely some weed smoking. Yes. Hey, hey. What's going on? So, thank you for having us. Introduce yourselves. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, like. you for coming. Hey, I'm Azriel. I'm Dominic. I'm Dan. <laughs> oh, I'm it Jared. My turn? Yeah, I'm yeah it sounds good. Oh. I'm Jen or Hippie Chick. Oh. And we really cool are. Oh, Thank y'all for coming. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, what's the. Damn, so, tacos, tacos, I, tacos I can assume good. this now. The D and the A is your name. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, we know. Uh-huh. It also stands for our kids' names, too. Oh. For real? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Just awesome. in case they want to take it over. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, That's shout out. That's awesome. That's amazing. generational. Yeah. So, son name is Dominic. Our daughter's name is Amira. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. That's dope. That's really you guys, dope. I love that. How long have you guys been together over there? For like she four going on five years now. Five, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. So how did this start? Um, from a joke. We were out of work from COVID sure. and uh, mm-hmm. Dom showed me, well, we already wanted to kind of like make good food. We always knew we wanted to own a business. It was going to eventually happen. So Dom showed me some cool tacos one time, and I was like, bro, why don't we make those? Like, I laughed like, so hard. <laughs> he, he had a day job still over at Jack Astor's, and he was, like, going there once in a while. But, like, I was like, hey, why don't we just do this? So we got, like, a little tiny cast iron on our stovetop. And uh, after that, we made, like, eight tacos at a time. Basically, people started showing up, and they were like, hey, can I have one? And then inboxing us on Facebook. And then Don was like, I don't think we need a bigger flat top. And I was like, I think we do. And he was like, if you think we need it, go buy it. So me and Amira went, and we bought a flat top that, like, a propane one for outdoors. And we stuck Mm -hmm. it in the kitchen with, like, two fans to make a hood. (laughs) And so out of our house, we uh, were making tacos, and people were just lining up and inboxing us on Facebook, hey, can I have more? Oh, nice. Surprisingly. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So I watched that like grind. Mario. It was crazy. That's amazing. Like, no. watching your grind. Like, yeah, from where you buses. were, like, like, COVID shut you guys down. Mm-hmm. And you guys didn't, like, it made no difference to you guys. You were like, we're going to make it no matter what. No matter what. I mean, honestly, it was all her idea. I had a job to go back to. You know, Jack Astor, I was waiting for him to open back up. But I was bored um, a little bit. And I was like, hey, there's these really cool lime green containers, and I want to put food in them. And we make good food, so let's go buy these containers and put food in them. But we started off with, like, brisket and, like, pulled pork. And we're like... We were making dinners, cornbread, yeah. mac and okay. cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we started right. off with that. Fish fries. We had a deep okay. fryer in the middle the burgers. of the burgers. We were doing a whole bunch of salmon morning. dinners. Y'all Let still doing that? <laughs> tell them. Tell them. You, you're not just tacos. No. We just throw it all the tacos, tacos now. We were trying to figure out how to make that portion and give it to you faster. Yeah. Because we could smoke it, but, I mean, that's going to feed, like, 12 people. We need to figure out how to feed 60. I'm down to smoke. So... Huh. <laughs> so... Did you... You guys ever think you would be the, the most sought after taco place in Buffalo? Oh, uh, we no. thought we'd be shut down by the police in the first week. No, I never thought we would. High aspirations. Right. Yeah. Um, no, 
so I, I assume you weren't. COVID, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It. No, we actually That's had police sick. show up. We uh, we Sheriffs. did catering for the fire department on Bailey. We had a couple sheriffs off duty. We had a few buses. School uh, buses pulled right up outside the house. The That's one amazing. The stopped at the corner. We had somebody in our backyard banging on our door at 1 o'clock in the morning <laughs> once. Oh, my God. That's yeah. the day we knew we had to change everything. Yeah. We had yeah. to get out the house. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. We were knocking yeah. on the door. This is a taco spot. <laughs> yeah, can't be there no more. This right. The right. right. Can't be there no yeah, more. I swear to God. Yeah, I got yeah. kids here. Like it was the trap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, was yeah, like, right. Yeah, well, you are the taco trap. That's what you guys were. It we still looked like it. So, I mean, it's working. Gosh, it's working. Tacos. It's just tacos, bro. It smells like food. It's not drugs. I promise you, it's a big bag. And they smell it, so mm. I had the smoker in the backyard, so I'm smoking briskets, pork shoulders, all that good stuff, chicken. They just trying to figure out what's going on. One of the biggest things was um, man, I, I had to wish have I had like that number back in the day, man. And that gave us the opportunity to shut down from our house and be able to look for a spot. So that's when we took our corner store is like we just needed a restaurant. So we drove around and we bought up all the equipment that we could find. We drove to Rochester. We drove to Syracuse. Um, anything that was broken, we fixed. Hell yeah. Mm. Flat tops, stand-up coolers, sub mm -hmm. bar, yeah, all that. So we own everything now. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, so no, it was at 141 Abbott, or, what was South Park's address? 2082. Yeah, 2082 South Park, where we made, like, a little deal with the, the peoples down there. They weren't using their kitchen. That's the, the corner store, right? Yep, mm -hmm. the By corner Woodside, store. right? Yep. Yep. South Park and Woodside. We did yeah. some amazing things down there. It was a great yeah. relationship. Um, you know, it worked out real well, and then we are like, we are blowing up here. We yeah. can't be here no more. Mm. It's too big. It was, you know, it was bad. It looked bad over there. The, I knew we had to leave when we had crackers fighting outside, literally throwing <laughs> rocks at each other's. Uh. Cops. Pulled like up in our parking lot. Oh, yeah, they over there. They <coughs> over there. Oh, no. They Where all open for tacos, tacos yet? They didn't even care about the crackheads <laughs> fighting outside. It blew my mind. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's when you know you made it. Yeah. Yeah. You, when you knew. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, crackhead <laughs> fights outside. <laughs> that's it, you. man. That's like, you know. Wearing tacos and watching. Mm. Right. Who going to win? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys went with tacos because it was the fastest way to make them? It was the fastest, the way, fastest way to make thing our to get flavors. Out? Yeah. yeah into and everybody something. loves tacos. And then... That right. the taco yep. shells that we use are gluten free. So like a lot okay. of people in Buffalo, it's corn shell. It it helps with celiac disease. We got a lot of people that come in here and they're like, "Yo, you got anything gluten free?" <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. Like, yo, like ninety percent of our menu. Surprise! <laughs> okay, sure. yeah, that, that's Do you guys awesome. Carry anything extra gluten for me? Extra uh, gluten? Extra yeah. gluten? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a spinach Florentine with vegan cheese. <laughs> that's too gluten. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> too gluten. That's too gluten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, like I'm more of like a eat tacos till I die kind of guy, not healthy tacos. Do you guys got unhealthy tacos as well? Absolutely. Some people like to say all of them are unhealthy, but you know I love oh, them yeah. all. The unhealthiest one might have to be the pork house. Smoke yeah. pork, <coughs> smoke pork belly, smoke oh, okay. bacon. Oh okay. Oh my God. Sauce, dude. Oh okay. Yeah. So. Preach on. That's what? what? <laughs> no, Rewind that one more time. Smoke Sheesh. it all for ten hours. Yeah. Are you serious now? Shout out to all my gluten-free homies out there, but years? that's the shit I yeah. want. Yeah, yeah. right there. That's that's it, man. That's so what dreams are made of. We really want. We don't want a bunch of DA taste. Um, there is one Dominic. There is one Asriel. Uh, we know that these flavors come together because of the two of us. But if we could have a mother home and a couple trucks. If we could do some some catering. Okay. It was supposed yeah. to be a no, food truck. That would truck. be dope. We okay. were supposed to be a food truck. We you took know, food we just, truck concepts and put them in a building. We just didn't have food truck money. But we had, <laughs> we had rent money, though. So. Yeah, we had rent yeah, money. No, hey, yeah. that so works. In 10 years, I would love a building, two or three food trucks, and to be like a, a catering staple. location. Like, you know how when you okay. go somewhere, you're like, hey, that's the best thing on that spot. I would love for it to be just that taco spot that's known for like just crazy, outrageous, amazing flavors, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like that. that. Yeah. That's, hey, no, that seems like a perfect way to be. It to make it a little bit faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lines be crazy. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I mean, forget the speed because you're putting out the product. Yes. Every time. Like, it, there's not. I haven't seen a complaint. But yet. you enjoy it, though, right? Absolutely. Right. I'm on a grill. She's right next to me. She's making them all pretty. You look at the pictures. She's do that. Mm -hmm. I just put everything in the inside. Yeah. It's demanding, but it's better than shoveling shit. 
the yo. <laughs> We're our own <laughs> boss. Right? Yeah. Well, she's right. my boss. I guess we be fair. So, what's the worst job you had? Oh. <coughs> I was a bridge painter for three months. What? Can you Whoa. put up a sticker for me? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, right. I got a spot. <laughs> my mom does a bunch of a bridge, bridge painting. Well, she used to. She's a little bit retired now. But um, I tried to do the same job as her. I got a spider in my ear. Like, oh. And that was oh my, like God, my that's last horrifying. job that I did. Yeah. yeah. What the well, fuck? Yeah. Right, like, did, did it hang out? Like, live with you for a minute? No, I went right <laughs> to the hospital. Oh, oh okay. good. good. Yeah, yeah. Right. She's like, yo, did it, like, live in you? Yeah. I brought it home. No, no, that's, like, my biggest fear. No, like, that's one of my biggest that's fears. Yeah. Yeah. Call it Charlotte. Mm. Worst job for me had to be Jim Steakout. Oh. Jim Steakout? Making steak hoagies. Just oh, chopping. No, but I love them. Fuck Jim They are good. I just don't want to make them. Nah. That's the problem. talk about them in your life. They made us pay for our food. You're right. Oh no! That shit ain't yo, food. and then soggy ass, soggy, soggy ass fries, bro. Them soggy ass fries, yo. What the fuck? Those fries were yo, horrible. Yo, that out. shit was dead. used to be the shit. It and did. Until we got them fries, yo. And then everybody found them. No. Yo, yes. But shout out yes. to hoagie everybody spot. Everybody found them. It's the yep. spot for those. The, the hoagie, hoagie spot. spot. I've been hearing yeah. that. Yeah. We should never that. bring this incident up again. You guys need to go check them out. They're right there on Clinton. I've got a reward on Uber Eats for being a reminder, like, because I ordered from them. So I don't yeah, we ordered like from the room. one on Allen. Yo, I haven't been to a new one so yet. so fire, bro. I was yeah. like, yo, god damn. What, There's a lot of steak stops. You know, nah, Shies nah. and Wait, DTW. Nah, it's called the Hoagie Spot. Oh, okay. It's called, that's all. This whole Wait, thing. but what's so, it called? <laughs> the Hoagie Spot. Sorry. No, I know what they're good for. <laughs> but what's it called? The Hoagie Spot. Okay. Yes, what's it called? The Hoagie Spot. I'll never understand you. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? It's called the Hoagie Spot. I think it's called the Hoagie Spot. I think so. Too. The Hoagie the Spot. The Hoagie Stop. The Hoagie yeah, Stop. Stop. Not a spot. It was close. Stop. Oh, okay. shit. That it is? Close. Stop. Oh, my bunch of Hoagie stones. Stop. I was making like a joke. Stop. Y'all smoke it's way too Main much Street. weed. They make my pasta let me, fresh let me hit for that. order. Oh, called? that's what's his name? The mono spot. pasta. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, that's that's nice. that there, yeah. The mono oh. pasta Jimmy. makes the pasta per order. They they drop your pasta. You get I to choose your sauce. You get to choose your meats, and they make it fresh per day. Oh. No, that's that I, I shit. Like it. <laughs> He's so been there. I like just have been to the pasta place. Yep. I love the pasta place. The pasta place is That was the first thing I ate after surgery. Creator Jimmy. What's it, Jimmy? Jimmy Scott Jr. Yeah, yeah. He put it on. He, to it, he be like, doing those videos and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That place is amazing. Jimmy, come to DA Taste. They're amazing. Mm. Yo, you might as well. You missing a spot. Pull up. Pull up. Absolutely. It's kind of like that pasta place because you order food and then they make it and you eat it. So in a lot of ways, yeah. it's similar. You should come. Homemade. Oh my I gosh. Really go. That was amazing. Yo, Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay, so <laughs> if I turn you again, it's not my fault. Do you see what's happening right now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is really good, though. What the fuck is happening? I can read it, right. but it's blocked. Deadly. So, and under complete so nationalism. <laughs> Actually, oh. so you, this is my thing, you guys. So you're all about normalization of cannabis. <coughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I really, I'm totally in that. So you're, you know, you got Scooby Doobies pamphlets here, mm -hmm. um, and in your go bags. When was the first time you guys smoked cannabis? That's funny as so. hell. Uh, who's, wow. Well, whose was met it? We each other while we were already smoking cannabis. Yes. Okay. So I guess um, we met each other and then found better weed together. Who was the? <laughs> who was smoked nice. the first? earliest age between the two years because yeah. that's the winner uh probably him because i i, I didn't think, smoke because right? i oh I yeah i was say 14 because okay. we're always age. you know because you know probably people like are always like no i 19. i started at 13. Oh. god damn, well no i was 17. 19. i was 17 but yeah oh, okay. i had a lot of migraines before that and i think it's because i smoked some really dirt weed and yeah I yeah that az with the seeds completely. Yeah. that's yeah. exactly what she had from too. from from townsend <laughs> the first one i ever smoked my little brother it's the only me. place he got weed from. No, that's the place. He says it every time it comes spot. up. He's like, I know that spot. Yeah, that's the spot. I'm telling you. So, yeah, so I didn't we smoke know. again until I was an adult because I was like, I don't know if it's going to give me my things. And then I was an adult and I was like, what the hell am I afraid of? And mm -hmm. then it was like, yeah, weed's my thing. Yeah, they got weed yeah, the headaches sure. now. So. Oh, yeah. So, what about you? When was the first time you smoked? Me? 14. 
About 15, the average age. How'd it go down? The average age. You steal like quick. your aunts or your uncles? And you're <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> Douglas. Who Disappointed was everybody. Was it the homie? <laughs> everybody was mad. Yeah. Like, what, was it a group of like people, you and like a couple friends? Or was it like you just. When I first tried it, I'm yeah. pretty sure I stole it from my sister. There yeah. 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 Everybody has a good that story. story. That's why I always ask, who'd you steal it from? Yeah. My sister, <laughs> she had dirt weed in her room. Yeah, everybody and her boyfriend done. left. I know he left it. And I stole some, and I rolled it up. I rolled it up in a, like, some yellow paper, construction paper. <laughs> <laughs> so you ordered some weed now, huh? Mm-hmm. I ordered some weed she, now. When she sees it, she's gonna be like, "Yo, you." I'm gonna give, give it to her fuck. before. Right. Mm-hmm. right before you watch the episode, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's you probably watch this episode. I got something for you. Here you go. I got Here, some yeah. for you. Take this. He was probably thinking, you know, I, got some I think these seeds are good for it. I should keep them in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that exactly. day, never, I was like, never again. I mean, and, I did. Yeah. But Dom <laughs> smokes weed and watches cooking shows. Like, yeah. don't yeah. play. Oh, oh, I, I do. Too. And nature shows. Cooking in nature. Fucking nature. That kid bake off. watch cooking. What the fuck is that show called? Survival. Um, that, Naked and Afraid. Yeah. yeah. Naked yeah. and Afraid. That's the most funniest shit. Yo, but I be I'll leave that day too. I be watching these kid making <laughs> shows shit. and shit like that. These little bitches out there. Oh, yeah, Why are you done. shaking, bro? Mad as hell. Like, yo. I mean, I'm laughing, I but right. I know that day too. Right, right, right. <laughs> Don't they let you, like, bring a few Some items? Shows I'd be you wondering. get a little satchel, I think. I'd bring, like, a TV out there, dumb as hell. Like, oh, shit, where do I plug this in? Fuck. <laughs> you know? No, I don't think the TV Day one, I'm out. I don't think it'll fit in the bag. You like weed is going to change. Change the future. Um, I feel like pharmaceuticals should chill, and everybody should might just Guaranteed if you dead. smoke the blunt, you might chill out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yes, a lot of things can might be able to get solved with it. Yeah. And I along think with ba- the normalization, pharma. do you guys like? Is it? Uh, what about your kids? Like, is do our you kids have no idea what weed is? Okay. Um, actually, we are very one hundred percent. Drugs are bad. But when they become an adult, we'll have that conversation and sit down. Um, you or know, we still, we or when they come friends. home with red eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Be a no. whole kid. But will I say that we smoke a blunt on our top porch and then we go to the park for three hours and play? Absolutely. Aw, yeah. shit. They've never really That's seen us smoke. smoke. Yeah, they've yeah. never yeah. really seen us smoke. But, but yeah. they see that our smiles are on our faces. Yeah, right. That's exactly. Right. exactly. They know that you're not all stressed out anymore for whatever reason. Yeah, absolutely. Because the kitchen is hard. Um, right. We don't smoke cigarettes oh, yeah. anymore. Good. So they're happy that our hair doesn't smell like that because awesome. that was our daughter's one complaint: is your hair smells bad. Oh yeah. Smoking cigarettes. So yeah. What inspires you guys? Yeah. Um. Those kids everything. probably. To cook. Anything uh, in any? life. In yeah. just you know inspirations you know. Each other. Uh, yeah. When I don't want to yeah. get up in the morning. He looks at me and he was like, I didn't want to do this taco stuff. Get up. I remind her that this is all her idea. I just wanted to make tacos for the family one day. And it just blew into this. And I'm more than happy to be here. Yeah. So DA Taste in this community we have in Buffalo inspires me now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seeing like people come in and like your food is the craziest thing in the world. What's the biggest name that came here? The biggest name that's come here? Yeah. Oh. I feel bad for not knowing the one Bills player. I have his autograph at the house. Um, <laughs> it's hard to read. I'm some Bills players in here. Um, just who else was fucking cool. Honestly, our faces are so in the grill that like. You can't even tell, huh? We had uh, our community oh. is the Chop, big guy from Hell's was. Kitchen. What's his uh, name? Bobby yeah. oh, Anderson. Anderson. What? Yeah. He, yeah, he was on uh, Hell's or yeah, yeah. Cool. Hell's Kitchen. He and put the bonus at the shop, like the ones in the corner store. Oh, in, nice. Uh, oh, yeah. Niagara Falls. So, but yeah, oh. he was, he was yeah. pretty big. He liked us. <laughs> now you have the Spaced Out Podcast. Congratulations, <laughs> guys. Absolutely. Just like that. <laughs> You're up in the ranks. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, what inspires you? Those you? be like, like, those people don't even want to <laughs> Or come wait, here. no. Yeah. I bet you those people don't even want to, like... Come because they're gonna be like, oh, I gotta stand in the damn line. Mm-hmm. We've gotten a lot of other local owners that have shown amazing support and given us like their own, not like negative advice, but like actual real life. Like Chicken Pizza Works has given us amazing advice. Uh, the owner of Don, uh, Don Wands, Don Wands has given us advice. He's cool. Um, That's cool. The <coughs> owner of Crazy Cake uh, Spot that she now owns the Soup Spot. 
So she's giving us advice. Shout out to like, her too. Yeah, her soup is her. amazing. Two businesses oh, okay. yeah, that's, around, that's am- doing amazing things at both. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing because that's that means great. that that like so it's you're saying like basically is that the slide. community is has the biggest, accepted it like is your biggest people that have been in here. Period. Yes, absolutely. Because without it them, has honestly been the most humbling experience is having community support and love from other people that has just been around us. It gives me goosebumps just knowing how much we've actually been supported and loved and accepted because we didn't. No expect matter to be. what. No right. matter what, in the, oh, here, here. Shut down. In the house, the in the shop. The roof is leaking, the water tank goes out, the heat is out. We were out here, you know, for like three weeks without heat because our landlord didn't fix our heat, and people were in here standing in line, freezing cold with us. Mm. Mm. So, um, well, the tacos are good. good. <coughs> yeah. What has been like the most humbling experience so far through all this? Like, <coughs> um, knowing that no matter what store we are in <coughs> or what building, or one coming. moment, the people keep coming. The one time we shut know. down for like a week, and that was like, that's <laughs> it. People <laughs> love the time is done. They never gonna come back. They gonna forget, they forgot about us. Mm-hmm. We came back, and it was a line down the street. I All couldn't right. fucking believe it. Oh, I was yeah. cried. So that's beautiful. Stuff like yeah, that. Awesome. No matter what we do, we have such a huge following now. Yeah. And so, like we give back. Universe. I got so much love from like when you were posting about her being in the hospital. Yo. Yeah, I was like, like, yo, this I community. I didn't expect to be there. <laughs> I had a pain. It was in my stomach. It felt like I couldn't breathe. I go to the hospital, and they're like, oh, your gallbladder's three times the size. We're going to send you for surgery in two days. You can't go scary. home now. Jeez. Oh, okay. I Thanks. made I made that post, and every nurse and uh, doctor in there called her the taco queen. It was yeah, the funniest every shit ever. I was approached, yeah. Even by my surgeon, before he shook my hand, he said, I guess I'm in the presence of a taco queen. <laughs> no, <the> taco <laughs> queen like, all the nurses know our food. I guess and like love us, so we, we gave them some food and it's been amazing. That's great. Oh, yeah, that's that good. is amazing, man. That's community's good for that shit. Exactly. So like, exactly. like in a moment that I might have been ignored, they all paid attention and made sure that I got back up. I've been back to work. The nurse made sure I was out of my bed mm-hmm. two hours after my surgery to make sure I was up to be able to do what I needed to do. Well, yeah, and when so, the universe tells you to, yeah, to keep yeah. going, I mean. That's we what you do. Awesome. You keep going. Yeah. Yeah. And even all this week, there's been, like, nothing but absolute love. Like, well, yeah. completely. And it's just, it's inspirational. That's beautiful. That's dope. Yeah. So we see you post about your pets a lot. <laughs> so tell us about them. Oh, Jesus. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three American bullies. <clears throat> Queso, lime, and taco. <laughs> and then we have a shit zoo love it. named Fendi. He's about... 16 years old. Oh, so he runs the place, right? I swear to God, he do. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, the smallest dog runs it. Um, Queso happened because I wanted a dog for my birthday. (laughs) So we got Queso, and he was amazing. But he was doing too much to Fendi because he's old. So Mm -hmm. that's when we got Lime. And Lime keeps up with Queso, and she's amazing. But uh, Queso just wants to sleep. So that's, I guess, how Taco happened. Yeah. My boy Manny gave me a deal. I'm like, I might as well do it. So now yeah. we got three of them. Now we need a bigger house. But <laughs> I feel you. <coughs> they are the sweetest, most, if you could ever get a dog in an American bully. Like, our kids love all over them. Yeah. Our son rides them. Um, Lion, yeah. Giant horses. <laughs> Big oh, hands. Yeah, yeah. So Big you love hands. animals. Did you hear what New York State's trying to do? Nope. Ban pit bulls. Mm. What? Hell no, I ain't yeah. That. Yeah. No, what? That's clickbait. No, no, I'm not that's clickbait. He said, no, it can't be real, real life. I'm not even joking. He's trying to ban pit bulls. That can't be if real. If a quad chihuahua could eat you, it would. Yeah. Yo, that dog in there. Not Tito Dabs. Not Tito Dabs. Not Tito Dabs, y'all. Not Tito Dabs. You guys dabs. have to follow this. Yo, if this every man. chihuahua <laughs> had lost its teeth, oh God. they wouldn't be able to snip at every human. And they would learn. That all we <laughs> want to do is love them. Absolutely. All Just like Tito love. Debs. Yeah. So and also yes. their tongue yeah. would hang out, and it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes, they would. Their tongue yeah. would absolutely hang Let's out. Let's see. Does anybody you have should a bring Tito him Dabs? every single time. He should just come well, everywhere I mean, I you. Yeah, I know. I really should, but I, I figure we're in a restaurant. You yeah, that guy. That guy right you there. You don't want him to steal you your shit. <coughs> yeah. Our dog oh definitely. Our dog kind of like that. like our dog. This is Tito Debs, y'all. Absolutely freaking oh, adorable. Cool. He looks like Fendi a little bit. No. I see his sunglasses. Tongue, yeah. And he's got a chain. You want to kiss him? You know, he's got your buddy. 
Does he always wear the chain? Yeah, it's your buddy. Yeah, uh, you know, only in public. <laughs> but um, yeah, he and Dan are besties. I'm tearing up. <laughs> Oh. The best was last night when we were on live and he's sitting there like Tito was sleeping and he's like Tito, 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 Tito. Tito, Tito. Like, and just and the Tito. dog um, wouldn't wake the up. The other but. night, so our bed does like <laughs> us. We bought our first bed this year, like an adult bed. If you ever have a chance to buy yourself a bed in life, I guess go take the opportunity because you never realize that your yep. bed is the way that you sleep. Mm, and oh my God. <coughs> Absolutely. Uh, so our uh, bed does cool is. things. Yeah, my wife and I just bought one. sleep with the remote. Oh. And the dogs jump on top of us. Oh, Jesus. So the other night at like 2 o'clock in the morning, Case was climbing on top of us because we sleep with our dogs. I mm, mean, there geez. are dogs. They're yeah. everywhere. <laughs> so Queso steps on the remote and it folds mm, up into geez. like a taco form of a bed. And yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was the most uncomfortable. We had all three dogs on us, plus us, all in like, it was like a movie. Oh, so, I um, would eat so much cheese if my animal's name was Queso. I'd be like, I think I'm hungry I now again. Queso. It's pretty amusing watching our kids call the dogs names. Like, <laughs> watching our neighbors through the like, window, watching, like, why are you keep yelling taco? <laughs> right. I thought they make those. Why are they calling them? I used to order, uh, I used to be like, can I have some queso cheese, which just means cheese cheese? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, I'm a big Redund- guy. Redundancy. Yeah. So, you guys had some big news. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, um, everybody knows that this building is pretty much a... Uh, Gone to shit. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna say it like that. So mm-hmm. it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Uh, but we definitely looking for a new spot. Oh, okay. We yeah. definitely definitely gonna get up out of here. Okay. Gonna be, yeah. right. You want to tell them where we're going? <laughs> oh, you already know. I already, oh, already know. know. Oh, oh we man. Know. Oh wow. We All had right. a meeting this morning right before, before you guys got here. Oh wow, 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 wow. Okay. Yeah. Trying to buy a building. Yeah, we're buying a building. Goosebumps, look at that. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this building wanted a lot of things. Um, that ass, goosebumps. So instead of dealing with, with all the things that this yeah. building needed, we decided to find a better spot. Still in South Buffalo, still amazing, and it's already been a South Buffalo staple for a lot of years. Yes. We're just going to say it's on Abbott still, too. Yeah. So we're going to stay on Abbott. Come on. Tours down Mercy going Hospital. a little bit closer to Mercy. Mm-hmm. We might add some milkshakes. What? Some desserts, mm. some ice cream. Oh, wow. Abbott ice cream. We mix it up. Mm. Mix it Am up. I right? Abbott maybe, ice cream. Maybe. How goosebumps did you get? Mm. That's about yeah. as many goosebumps when I eat yeah. cold ice cream on a mildly cold day. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so in the next couple next couple of weeks, you guys are gonna see some transitioning happen. That's All right. sweet. Um, it's gonna allow Very for us excited. to be able to actually expand our hours, know our staff. Have stability. Mm-hmm. More online, more phone yeah. orders, more control. Nice. Yep. Pick up window. Building. That's the end goal is to own our own shit. A pickup yeah. window. Yeah, a pickup window. Yes. Beautiful. It's right there. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be quick. Yes. We'll have a little so, couple meters exactly. out there for the winter for people. Duh, yep. We already got, we already playing on putting something yep. up out there. <laughs> See that they're on it, y'all. They're going to keep so, us nice and warm. Yeah, and keep fed. us nice and warm, fed. Um, consistent. Uh, I'm really excited. Derek, you have to take this from me. Yeah, really the the highest. same menu, add, to add so milkshakes. High. Yes. I'm so high. No, that's going to be dope. Can I'm you guys very, stop passing the blunts yeah. to me? Because I am so high now. <laughs> I said that 10 minutes ago. Don't yeah, keep passing them. She keep giving it's it like to me. It's like a battle. <laughs> Right. Wait, are you guys even smoking? Or are you just yeah, smoking. fucking us four people on the end? No, they're <laughs> no. smoking. Uh, They've been smoking. Oh, no, no, I know us. they have. Keep saying no, oh, but my I hand says smoking. yes. Yeah, there I've been go. smoking. I've I'm been so smoking. high right now. I was I gonna like, bring a bong. Like, I just I hit it twice it. in the same time. What twice. Twice in the same time. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore, man. Yo, I just me and Derek have been just talking about under our breath. Well, how, how overly stoned we've become. I'm like, right man. now. Well, I feel like I started this whole episode. No, I'm still going to make tacos. I'm burning Derek. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. so down and to eat tacos. We still have a blood yeah. that we haven't smoked. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yes. So. Tacos. Well, that's for after yeah, tacos. And, and we're about to Ooh, end that's the, our dessert. When we yeah. end the episode, we get to eat tacos. So. Every time that's I look at this cool. mirror, Amazing. I am judging myself. Yeah, there's a lot of them. A lot of tacos, not a little. A whole bunch of tacos. Are they just meat and cheese and sour cream hot? No. 
No, no not here. Not I mean, I got one. There's like a lot of vegetables in there. Are they already got vegetables in There's it? Yeah, like a lot of them. That, like double. I mean, we told yours triple. to double. I guess you're the guy that doesn't like the vegetables. Yeah. Well, we said. Vegetables don't we like said, me. I we like said everything. You got, you got to eat them how they're made. You can't just. You got everything else, though. Yeah, yeah but that will, that'll be you, me going like this. Your mother would have made you eat these tacos. <laughs> you know, you what, have, what, what you know you know you have right? to. Yeah. So I don't have to fully go into that vegetable. See, their kids eat vegetables. My yeah, kids yeah. Eat vegetables. Well, I am Honestly, a fucking so less than. A, no I can promise you, when it comes to vegetables, I am less than a child. <laughs> He's an infant. <laughs> I am an infant. Actually, You're not no, supposed infants, to feed no, me vegetables. Infa- I am infants a fetus. Love, yeah, what are you like talking about? Like when they're babies, baby. they ate everything. I'm like, yeah. I drink okay, milk from shit. the tea. Only. No, that's hideous. What? I'm sorry I put that image in. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. That's <laughs> definitely non homogenized. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a milk, cheese, meat, nuggets. Well, you're just going to have to. Yeah. You're just going to have to. Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Dino nuggies are the best, say, though. Honey mustard. Oh, dino yeah. nuggies. Dino no. nuggies are, are fire, lit. Though. I don't honey like honey mustard. Kraft I mean, mac and cheese. Yeah. 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 Apple yeah. slices. Are a big thing yeah. in our house. Right. No, no, That's no, no, it. No, 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 Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, no crust. That's why I buy Uncrustables sometimes, because I'm a little weird. Now we're talking. Wait for. Oh, I can't really. I'm going to make some soon. I'm sorry. Special one. Sheesh. I'm into Ching. that. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm totally into Alrighty, that. folks. Well, you guys want to put out your uh, social medias? Shout, shout out. Yeah, where, where can people find you yeah, now? Shout out then. anyone you want to. Hmm. There's a lot of people to shout out in this world. Thank you, yeah. everyone, for ever supporting us, yeah. ever sharing, ever loving. Um, we're found on Instagram and Facebook. DA Taste on Facebook, DA Taste on Instagram. I got a TikTok. Got some videos on it. I don't really run it it's too much. Um, Dom our, takes every photo. All the photos I take. Mm. You know, all the videos. We try to make all everything beautiful and presentation a 100%. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. You're going to be able to find them at Abbott Ice Cream. Is that yeah. what it's called, official that's, name? That's Abbott that's Ice that. Cream? Coming it's, soon. It's called DA Taste. Oh, oh, you're oh, taking the whole thing. Oh, it's it's not like a they were buying that building. Oh, so Abbott Ice Cream's done, done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, oh, it would no, be no, us. That's so sad. Yeah. All right, it dope. It would be us yeah, and we yeah. take everything. Right. Yeah. No, but I'm sad, though. They have that bomb-ass brownie. I mean, the they'll have that. brownies on the menu. You said it was gone. Happy. Yeah. No, if you have Who that, said it was gone. All that shit is still there. We never said it was all gone. We just said that it was now da taste. Now da taste there. Yo, you only gotta make an ice cream taco, right? We know. We know. Yo, we already got one in the works. No, I'm sure you did. I know. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I just since the Choco yeah. Taco better. was laid no. to rest. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was not. That is a lie. No, they're back, but they're not as good. It's just what? like it's okay. We got a lot of cool surprises coming. Yeah, um, right. excited. There's oh, a lot yeah. of things that we already wanted to do that we were supposed to do here that we weren't able to do. Oh man. So okay. I Ooh, can't wait excited. for so that one opens up our opportunity. For yes. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. For so, so much. Doors. Hell yeah. yeah. So many doors. That's super. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, let awesome. us know That's when the cool. grand opening is because we'll be there. Yeah. 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 Let us know. You know. It'll all come within the next week. Well, yeah. Let us know. We'll have updates and days and. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Well, that's it, it guys. Won't be, it won't oh. be a long transition. We, we like down the street. Very fast. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna pick it up, mm-hmm. move it right back on the grill. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Hell you yeah. guys heard it here first. Yeah. That's it, right? Well, that's it, guys. This is, I'm Daniel. Should we set ourselves off? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going for it. Yep. All right. I'm Daniel underscore Farmington, and I haven't made stupid videos in a while. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I missed those. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, hey, what's well, up? My um, videos um, are I'm good now. Derek, um, NTY Roots <laughs> underscore trichome. That's Naughty Roots trichome. Mm-hmm. And um, I do also do uh, Don't F Up the Rotation. Mm-hmm. Peep me out. It's cool. It's dope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, Tuesdays, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm Jen or Hippie Chic or Hippie Chick. Um, so find me at, at Hippie Chick Farms on Instagram. Ooh. Which he did. Space the way you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Seven one six. Damn. smoke over there. Nice little grill. It's still brand new. I haven't even used this one yet. Yeah.
that's me part of the thing. You got you got me. This podcast has been brought to you by Revelry House.